Hello and welcome back to episode 14 of All the Waves 2 as Japan. In today's episode, we're going to continue where we last left off. Um, we are preparing for the next Great War, which is what we did last episode. We continued our construction efforts. We're hoping to have a new Congo class battle cruiser coming out shortly, as well as two Hosho uh, class uh, aircraft carriers, which will join with the Hosho and the Akagi to make a uh to make our kind of kido butai essentially we also have uh four light carriers in reserve as well and we are preparing for a war like with russia the uk or france uh, one of the one of one of those uh guys i mean tensions are pretty high for everyone at the moment um and we're currently waiting on actually getting aircraft out and ready um Dino bomber, torpedo bomber. We're going to, yeah, we're going to wait. We need a lot more aircraft being uh, actually built and spent for. Um, and that's going to cost us a lot. Yeah, we've got another 55 fighters we've got to build. We've got a bunch, we've got more medium bombers. We've got more torpedo bombers. And then also we've got dive bombers which just came into service. Um, the main things I want to do is get our battle cruiser fleet up, get our battleship fleet up um, so that we can resist larger enemy fleets. Um, but also continue building up our carriers so that we have the largest carrier force in the Pacific. We're going to have a total of four normal carriers. And we're probably going to try and go up to six of them is what I would uh, look at. Let's go to the next turn. Um, do we want to go with war with the United States of America? Let's bring the tension down a little bit with America. I don't really want to fight the Americans. If possible, I want an alliance with them if all things uh, you know, hold true. I would love an alliance with them. There we go. We're starting to get our dive bombers now into uh, active service, which is uh, good to see. As we slowly start filling up our carriers here. Dual purpose mounts as main armament for torpedoes. Naval intelligence has hatched the plan to engineer Kumborneo that will install a pro-Japanese regime. Let's do it. We crushed the rebels in Panama. Tensions just went up very highly. But we uh, took Borneo, which does have... Uh, Borneo does not have oil. But it does give us another base in Southeast Asia. Speaking of, what is our base capacity looking at? Not great. I'm going to improve the base around Borneo. Yeah, let's improve Borneo. Disarmament Conference. What is your recommendations? Um, that's uh, don't do anything binding, no concrete results. That's what I like to see. Uh, unless it's advances or forward main armament, interesting. Uh, armor piercing penetration improvements. And here we go. Yeah, the war is looking uh, pretty, pretty much on the horizon here. We're gonna get the Congo hopefully done here shortly. Um, the other thing we're making a criticism by the adventurous foreign policy of. Let's go to war with Russia. Let's, let's do a war with Russia. Well, that didn't get us into a war with Russia, but hopefully we'll be able to at some point. Because Russia has hold of uh, Shanghai, and I really want to control China, so we're going to need to take that if we can. Oh, Jesus, those tensions. New docks are complete. And we'll have the Congo finishing up here shortly. The Battle Cruiser Congo finishes commissioning. We should take this to Russia. War between Japan and Russia. Oh, Germany. Oh, yeah. That's because Germany's in a treaty with them. That might be a problem. Okay, well, we just finished up uh, the Congo. Let's do mobilization effective immediately. Activate all our air bases. That does now put us in a significant deficit um we're gonna try and get those two carriers out though i'm not sure we're gonna have the funds to uh we did just activate all naval aircraft as well which put everything into active service and ready to go uh the congo we're gonna push you directly into service immediately um where should i send you i could send you to northeast asia but oh my god that german fleet is massive Russian fleet in Japan, they don't have too much. In Northern Europe, we could send a battle cruiser over. 
Hmm. Do I really want to do that, though? Uh, for now, we're not at war with the Germans, so I'm going to keep my fleet here. The Russians have one Drenor over there. Um, yeah, they have one Drenor. Russia has very few actual Drenors. We'll see. If the war... I'll pull them back if the Germans come into it, which I think they will do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send our battle cruisers to... Um... Now, what we'll do, actually... I mean, what are these carrying? These guys are 8, 12 inches. We're going to send these guys to Northern Europe. And I'm going to put them on raiding. Yeah, raiding stats. And we're going to keep the Congo in active service. We've got all of our uh, carriers currently uh, ready. Uh, they're not fully on their wings yet, but, you know, they're doing what they can. Uh, let's put all of our Corvettes into trade protection duties. There we go. And let's prepare for the war, um, because we should be able to dominate them at the moment. Uh, oh, yes, we have insufficient ships on foreign station. Um... I'm going to put these guys onto the foreign station situation. So, put you in. As well as... Let's do four of those into foreign station. I'm going to put our obsolete vessels. And then the smaller vessels into anti-submarine warfare. Or trade protection. Oh, actually, we can... Uh, we can actually not put them in trade protection. We can put them in the active service. Um, so, it's active service. Yeah, we don't actually need that many in trade protection. We can just put these in active service as well. That works more than effectively enough for us. Okay, uh, and I'm going to begin an immediate invasion. Uh, invasion territory. We should be... Yes, we can start an invasion of Shanghai. That's costing us a lot of money. I'm going to halt construction on those two because of the war. Um... Even though I would like to get them out. At least we got one of the Congos out, which is uh, going to hopefully make up for it. Yeah, trade protection. That's, that is, again, the issue. Um, trade protection. Seven of those. We need another one. Trade protection. There we go. Next term. Cruiser action. They decline the battle. Cruiser action. They decline the battle. Enemy raid on coastal shipping. Attack the enemy ships in area. All right, we have two, we have three light cruisers, a bunch of destroyers, and two seaplane carriers. Um, or two, yes, two seaplanes. Uh, handle cap and recon. Let's handle cap and recon distance. Let's do something like that. Let's get our navy. Let's get them uh, ready to go. Yes. Okay, there we go. They're off. There goes the recon planes. Unknown ship has been sighted. Okay, squadron max, please. Armored cruiser. Of the Gromaboy class. 13,000 tons, four 9-inch belt. 9-inch uh, belt armor. Is that correct? No, four inch belt armor, nine inch guns. Okay. Spotted a submarine, apparently. We're pulling our seaplane carriers away as well. Ooh, you took a lot of damage. What's going on with you? Flooding. Flotation issues. Yeah, I can see that. Can we detach you? Log order battle, like cruisers. Detach. And um, we're going to set you up. AI control. Let's move you back. Get you down with four knots to control the flooding. I hope we have some torpedo bombers taken off. Okay, we are turning to nine, so hopefully we'll be able to get away now. Because we're just trying to stop them mainly. I'm 
try and hit these destroyers as much as we can. Okay, it's night time. Let's pull away. Ooh, that's a problem. Okay, let's normal speed up, please. So Peter, bloody hell, this is a nightmare. Shield is sinking. Yeah, we're losing two light cruisers here, which is not great. AI control, you're on AI control. Yeah, I can see that. I'd love to get some torpedoes off. This is a really unfortunate combat situation. Well, I'm getting out of here. I'm not fighting that combat against an armor cruiser. This is why we need battle cruisers and our, uh, our own heavy cruisers. Our lack of heavy cruisers has really screwed us up here. Well, let's get back to port. Yes, yes. So that's going to be a victory for Russia. Um, I hope that we can just destroy their larger ships through uh, a direct engagement. But I doubt because they're probably just going to avoid all combat with us. As much as they can. Um, so we have to keep that in mind. There you go. Yeah, they, they got a pretty big victory there. Major victory for them. We commissioned six submarines. Double turret. Signaling error is less li likely. We've invaded the possession. So th does that mean we've seized it? And we're now at war with Germany. Which, we've, which uh, changes the victory points. However, we are now battling in Shanghai. Germany is going to have to sail all the way from Europe to get towards us, uh, which is going to be quite the endeavor. However, they have quite a large navy. Um, so, we're going to have to be aware of when they start moving shipping down. Um, yeah, we're going to have to be definitely aware of that. But no, we're taking on both of them now at the same time, which is uh, quite... Quite interesting. Um, I want to get one another carrier done as soon as we can, though. Uh, in fact, I'm going to order both of them to resume construction immediately. Oh, I can't really afford that, can I? Um, well, we got the invasion off, at least. Can I get an invasion off on... Uh, let's try Russian Far East. We can go for cam... Check, no. Nah. Invasion range, not possible. All right next turn oh yeah they now have more submarines obviously uh we're gonna need more stuff on trade protection uh let's have a look here we can put you guys into a trade protection situation there's, there's a lot of anti-submarine warfare raid on coastal shipping unable to challenge our forces new british medium bottomer we've taken control of shanghai that's fantastic uh we lost the destroyer we lost the corvette an enemy submarine has damaged the Ryujo. That's not great. But we managed to take Shanghai, though we're still battling over it. That's fantastic news for us. So we've seized our primary objective in the area, which was Shanghai. We now have to deal, obviously, with the rest of the Russian Navy. Now, where is the German Navy? German na the Germans have sent two dreadnoughts, three battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers... Two light cruisers and a light carrier as well as 15 destroyers with 40 aircraft total. They will arrive in four turns. So we need to be aware of that. I'm going to try and take the fight to them in Southeast Asia and not let them get to the home islands. If at all possible. Um, where are our current dreadnoughts? They're in the Indian Ocean. Yeah, they're in the Indian Ocean. We need to pull those back. So we're going to take you off, put you into active service and we're going to move you back to southeast asia and we're going to lie in wait for that for them to get once they get to the indian ocean we'll then move it but we're going to move those guys back oh we need someone else on foreign station uh foreign station there we go uh trade protection we need you on trade protection there we go next turn coastal bombardment 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this one. I'm pretty sure this is just a, uh, what you call it? Uh, maybe we can. Well, I'm going to move these guys over. Scorching Max, those guys. And then we're going to move you up. And maybe we can actually complete the objective here. Yes, let's stop to launch float planes. Under cover of darkness, maybe we can do it. Maybe not. That's a destroyer. See if we can destroy the bombardment target and then just get out of there. Doing pretty well on it so far. There we go. Target down. Let's get out of her. Pull back to Hokkaido. Yeah, good good mission. But yeah, with the Germans coming, I'm going to try and meet them in Indonesia. Um, see if we can destroy most of their navy passing through with our carriers and our battleships. We'll have to move a pretty large force down to try and uh, meet them in combat. And uh, hopefully we can get a decisive battle with them. Um, Alright, battle's nearly over. Well, this this scenario is nearly over, there's uh, Weather not permitting launches, apparently. Why is that getting me? Pause. Keep going, keep going. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting fight. It's going to be an interesting fight against the Germans. Um, that'll decide the war, really. Japan, oh, Japan wins, yep, we commissioned six more submarines, I could try and take territories, yeah, I think this is actually a good shout, because the tensions are getting pretty high, we already have Shanghai, and we could probably take another territory, let's try that. Uh, yes. Yeah, there we go. The war's over. We got Shanghai. We got what we wanted. And we didn't lose that much. Um, and we can start to actually get the Soul U and the other ships out. So, that that's fantastic. And that should also mean... Yeah, they're no longer in the treaty with each other. I, I think I made the right decision. Our budget did go really, really way down. But we managed to get control of uh, Russian China. And we're going to be looking to hopefully go against someone like Italy. Italy would be our next target. And then after Italy would be the French. The French are the Italians. Um, yeah, let's get that built. And then we can um, continue. Let's put everything into reserve. Um, we can move these back to Northeast Asia. We can basically say to all of these guys um you guys need to move back to northeast asia move to northeast asia there we go central specific central specific the all of these guys can go on mothball uh the carriers i'm keep i'm gonna keep in all of these guys I'm going to keep in reserve to so keep their crew qualities okay. Um, like cruisers, you can go into a mothball. Uh, battle cruiser reserve, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine for me. Uh, so, yeah, we, can, we should be able to get that done and then we can get the other one done as well. Um, the balance has resumed construction on that as well. The Kaga has been commissioned. Let's send a strong force, safeguard our interests. Four months for the uh, Soryu to be constructed. And then we'll have eight carriers total, four normal, four light. Uh, we really need armored cruisers, though, as we saw in that last battle. Um, so we'll have to figure out how to do something around that. Uh, reloads for them. We have Zuma construction there. Um, I do want to build another Congo class, but it's not really possible at the moment with the current budget situation. 
Um, however, I am going to look at a heavy cruiser design. I know we were looking at it. Was it the Yama? Yakumo? Yeah, the Yakumo. I remember the Yakumo. Uh, you also have a lot of actual space free now. Um, we can go for 10-inch guns. I do like me a 10-inch gun. Yeah, let's go 10-inch guns. I do like that. Um, yeah, we can go 18 6-inch caliber guns. That's pretty damn heavy armament. Um, we can't do dual purpose, unfortunately, though. Uh, I can, however, increase some of the light AA guns on. Yeah, that's fine. With the amount of firepower this ship's going to have, that'll take three months to design that. Get that underway. Uh, improved model. Die bomber. Looks just like a better model to me. Let's uh, get that into service. Uh, in terms of air groups, are we on reserve? This should be reserve as well. You're working up. You've got all your aircraft actually on board, which is fantastic. Next turn. The cargo finished working up. Uh... Germany appears to be doing a naval rearmament program. We should condemn and strengthen our own navy. Yes, that's exactly what we should do. I guess it's 20,000, uh, which does then allow us to order up what we're going to do next uh, once we got to sort you. Um, I'm going to order... I think, yeah. Let's order up monthly bill cost. Let's order up two of them to be constructed. So that's two armored cruisers, which should hopefully sort out our weakness, or heavy cruisers now, sort out our weakness in that realm. Um, Germany has a lot of heavy cruisers. Uh, and then next, we want to look at probably designing a, a, you know, a next generation destroyer situ like situation, which we can go 2,000 tons, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can go 2,000 tons. We can go normal speed, medium range. Uh, normal on that. Uh, we can give them 6-inch guns. 4-4 four, four torpedo tube mounts. That works for me. We got K-guns on this as well. Let's give 4 K-guns. Uh, which will increase our anti-submarine. Uh, we're going to do... Yeah, let's do 4. 30... That's 34 knots is fine enough to me, I think. We could probably go a little bit higher on that. 5-inch uh, guns... Six-inch guns are so nice, though. Let's remove the forward superimposed, as that's pretty heavy. And we can instead go for more anti-aircraft guns. We can go for a little bit higher speed. Now we can't, really. We can go for more ammunition. Let's go for 200 rounds of ammunition. Uh, we can also go for an extra fire control position. Uh, and we'll remove one of those. And there we go. We've got a new destroyer, the Satsuki. We'll get that built. We'll get that underway. We also have 55,000 ton docks out. We can really look at like a Yamato class battleship soon. I mean, we are in 1932 now. Um, advanced weight savings. That's what I like to see. Um, it's rumored to be fast than our fastest fighter. Destroyers. Okay. I'm going to order initial one of three of them to be built. More like two. We have two Yukumo class. Yeah, there's two Yukumos coming up. Um, in terms of, in yeah, in terms of our aircraft, what are we looking at? Fighter. Let's request a proposal for a new fighter because that is getting pretty old. Um, request proposals for fighter. Uh, yeah, the latest in 1932 fighter. Let's focus on firepower and maneuver bit. Firepower and range. Let's go for that. And then let's do next turn. Submarines being scrapped. Um, might be a good idea to look at scrapping some of our own submarines, to be honest. Uh, saw you finish working up. But that's fantastic news. We can put that into reserve to save us some money. Um, but yeah, that does now mean that we have all of our Hoshu class carriers available now. Um, we've only got one Congo actually finished because the war kind of interrupted things and uh, really slashed our budget. Uh, mine laying submarines are now available. 
Uh, new float plane scout. That looks just like a good improvement to me. Um, yeah, it looks like a good improvement to me. About these Katoris, could we convert you guys into aircraft carriers to kind of fit the gap? We might be able to, and we do want to get rid of them. Uh, can we clear all the turrets? We can clear the torpedo mounts. We can add a flight deck. Yeah. No. How many aircraft could we add on? And we can remove these guns, and we can just add aircraft. We could add, like, 40 aircraft. Change. Must have a speed at least 24 knots. All is, f yeah, not possible. That's what I remember. We're going to have to use uh, battle cruisers for that. Which we could use, but not right now. Uh, reserve fleet for you. And that means we can actually resume construction on that guy. And we can also add in an additional destroyer. Hold on, the destroyer fleet kind of needs to be sorted out as well. Um... Yeah, I want to get rid of these as soon as we can, really. They're costing a lot more than they're actually bringing. Um, again, I would like another Congo class, but we don't really have the capability for that. Yes, let's get that technology. Better 15-inch guns. That's also good news. Um, and belt armor. You're going in June now. So we'll have those two Yakumos built. We're currently at six dreadnoughts, which is nearly as many as the British. So they have obviously ten battle cruisers. Um, we have the most amount of uh, aircraft carriers in the world, though, and we also have um, on par with Russia in terms of our light aircraft carriers. The heavy cruiser situation is being built up a lot, so we'll definitely want to invest more and more into that, which is what we are doing. Um, next turn. We can't really fight against the Russians anymore, so you know what? Fine, I'm okay with it. Um, fighter prototypes. Okay, so we have a bunch of different fighter prototypes. Yeah, that's a lot better, isn't it? 14, 8, 4. Range is a lot shorter than this guy. Though. This guy has really good range. But its capabilities in terms of its maneuverability and its toughness. The question is, do I want to sacrifice that? I think I do. That's a, you know, that's an extra three. That's you know, two. You get the better firepower. I mean, this is a little bit better firepower. But let's go for firepower four. So the Yokozaka X15, X19. Let's go for that. And then I'm also going to request proposals for a new torpedo bomber, uh, which is going to focus on reliability mainly. Next turn, unexpected advances. Got lots of unexpected advances going on here. Um, Okay, those destroyers on the way. Ikumo Kasuga will be built. Um, no, we're not going to sell technology to the Italians. The Germans really don't like us. Yeah, tensions are getting high across the board here. We might go to war with Germany, which we can't really fight against each other too much. Like, close by anyway. Improved torpedo, and able to use the diving shells, ready for operational service. 1934 at the moment. We'll look at like 1935, 1936, looking at a new carrier class, and then we'll have those two done, and then we'll look at also new dreadnoughts. We might, there might only be one Congo class, to be honest. Because um, we're kind of running out of the time period where it doesn't become worth it to build them again. Um... So we'll have to think about it. Do I want to build another Congo class? I do, but I don't have the money for it. I would have the money after these, and that would be done in a year. So 935. Mm. Uh, buying rights for gyro stabilizer. No. Let's not give them that. Okay, next turn. The heavy cruiser, the US heavy cruiser Louisville. Yeah, pretty much expected. 12 10-inch guns seems to be the way forward. A lot of focus on anti-aircraft, though. A lot of focus. New torpedo bomber uh, prototypes. Better toughness. Same bomb loads. Uh, you at the top seem like the best choice there, so let's go for you. Triple turrets. Heavier depth charges. Improved readying times. New French fighter. Um, we're gonna actually gonna I'm gonna lower the research budget um, because we're starting to get to the point where research is gonna be less important. I think at least 
in my opinion. Um, and then I'm going to, once these destroyers finish up, I'm going to order the con a Congo uh, to be constructed. Triple turrets on CLs. Uh, so two more destroyers on the way after this. Delayed development of that. Tensions continuing to rise. Make the agent a national hero. That's what I like to see. Let's get that tension up with Italy as much as we can. Two more destroyers commissioned to the Navy. And that means that I'm then going to build Congo. So that'll be on the way. So the hey. So that Congo will be built. And in turn, as part of that, I'm gonna scrap you two. Yeah, dispose of you two. And we're gonna rebuild all of these guys. So you need to be open design for a rebuild. Um yeah, that's more than fine for what I want. Rebuild those ships. Let's get a rebuild on you. Just to do maintenance, basically. We're not making any actual changes. And then we can also look at designing our next aircraft carriers. Now, our current aircraft carriers are 24,000 tons. So let's go for like a 30,000 ton design. We haven't really been able to prove that that effective in combat, but, you know, what, what can we do? Or we could look at a larger Dreadnought, though like, we don't really have the budget for it. We'll see. There's a lot we need to do. Uh, let's go for an aircraft carrier. Yeah, that's a big boy. Let's go for a 30,000 ton uh, aircraft carrier. Okay, so... Do we really need to have those guns on? Uh, we can get rid of the secondaries, and we can ammo allowance. Yeah, we don't really need them, do we? We can clear all these turrets. Um, yeah, we don't even need those guns anymore. All right, uh, 30 knots. Let's improve the speed to like 34 knots. 34 knots. I want fast carriers. Belt armor, we can do like two inches of belt armor. That is not very important. Um... Reduces damage from engine hits. Interesting. Magazine box. Inclined belt. We can add the inclined belt. And that increases cost. Magazine box. That is a lot of space. Well, actually, that saves us a lot of weight. Yeah, that seems to save us a lot of weight. Though that does, yeah. yeah, let's go for that. I'm not sure that exactly does, but it seems pretty effective. Do we still not have torpedo defense? We don't even have TPS-1 yet. Are we need to look at that. That's going to cause a lot of issues. All right. We can have aircraft. Lots and lots of aircraft. So I'm going to go for like 90. So we currently have on our, on our ships, we currently have 64 aircraft. Those are in squadrons of uh, 18 last I checked. 20, 20, 24. No, yeah, they're in squadrons of 20. So, 84 would probably be good. That would give us four complete squadrons. And that would then give us, obviously, four spares. Uh, deck park. Not sure what those do. Um, catapults. We can add catapults, which we'll need if we want to stay stationary and launch those. Let's add forward, a forward catapult, and a starboard catapult. Will that work? Building, we have yeah, flight catapults, bloody hell. All right, um, it's a 34 knot, 84 aircraft, cost us 3,700. Those guns are on dual purpose though. We can, you know, we can go five inch guns, dual purpose, if we want secondaries, but no, we don't really want any. Um, let's add like, we can, let's add some, we can add like, uh, starboard, 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 and then we'll put them on dual purpose, and then we'll also add in, and we don't need that many air directors, We're gonna add in, uh, a lot of heavy anti, or not heavy, but light anti-aircraft, and medium anti-aircraft. Um, what is taking so much space? to be the reloads above the tubes. 
Let's go for 82 aircraft. That gives us two spare, which is not a lot, but does uh does give us some benefits. And then I can add a bunch of like four inch dual purpose. I can have four dual inch purpose. Well, that works for me. Uh, insufficient top size space. We can just reduce that. Ammo allowance for guns is on the low side. That's fine by me. That'll take four months to get underway. So that'll be the uh, Hiryu class. And that'll be 30,000. So that will replace the Hoshu class. And then we'll also look at replacement for the Congo. Look for a Dreadnought more specifically. Uh, that's good. Our economy has increased. A lot of new designs coming out here. Uh, that was just like a worse version. I mean, you have a light bomb. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I might do my own look and design of it, but I'm not going to do that right now anyway. Um, all right. Gets hold of blueprints. Yeah, that's more heavy cruisers coming out here. Radar and electronics. Well, that will be very important. I do know that. Um, where is are we currently? Subdivision and damage control is look like we need to bring that down. And I'm gonna take uh we have we have twenty inch guns. Improved hydrophones. Let's move off uh high dive bombing. Let's bring this down to medium and let's bring hull construction down to low. Okay, next them. Um Formation flying boats. I don't really want a war with the Germans. But we get more budget. Now let's bring the tensions down with the Germans. Well, I'll bring the tensions down with everyone. They'll bring the tensions down with just the Germans. Uh, finish working up. A uh, new British light anti aircraft carrier. Yeah, pretty expecting of that vessel. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, build screens. This is the Hiryu. We'll rework the design initially and that will uh, take a month. Uh, offering to sell us. Let's get that technology. That's an improvement in armor. Improved model of the float plane scout. There we go. Also getting color pictures, which is interesting. <sighs> Not now. We won't build the Hiryu now, but we may build it soonish. Um, we'll have the Yukumo and that vessel done shortly. And we've also got, obviously, the Congo on the way. Um, go for the win. Yeah, go for the win. That's what I want to see. Uh, budget increasing. Okay, we're going to have that vessel done. That's the Kasuga done. And that's a new one. That looks just like a way better vessel or vehicle. And we're going to immediately order a Hiryu to be start construction. So that'll be done in 26 months. That has 82 aircraft and also goes 34 knots now instead of the 20 or the 30 knots we're doing on the Akagi and the Soviet. So it's definitely an improved design. Um, we're going to put these into a mothball to save on money. And we also need to put these into a mothball to save on money. Well, not mothball, but reserve fleet. Uh, Congo will be around shortly. We could look at building more destroyers. I am... We'll wait for a little bit more money before we look at designing anything else, to be honest. Um, next turn. Yeah, let's go to War of France. Let's actually try and get a War of France. £1,500 bomb. That's a lot better medium bomber. That is a lot better medium bomber. Let's, uh, let's get that underway. Uh, yeah, our budget just blew that. Let's order her sister ship to be built. So that will be the uh, Zukaku um, to start with. So that means two more aircraft carriers on the way. Naval aircraft spending is really getting out of control there. But uh, we should have, I mean, 619 aircraft. Yeah, we're, we've got a lot of aircraft. 1% weight savings. That's okay. Ships under construction. Yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, another heavy cruiser. Improved light anti-aircraft. They've got a new model. Uh, looks like the same model to me. Uh, they improved the firepower slightly. Okay, that works. Budget's getting back up there after a little bit of a slump. Um, the UK is at five hundred thousand blood DL. 
Uh, increasing naval spending. We're on 1500. We're going to have to halt one of these constructions for a bit. We'll halt that one. Make him a national hero. Yes, let's do that. Resume construction again. Uh, get them to protest. Oof, all these tensions. I really don't want to go to war with the Royal Navy. <laughs> uh, they have a very impressive fleet at the moment, even though we might have a better chance than we otherwise would in any other period of warfare. Um, it's definitely very concerning. Uh, next turn. This is no doubt the middling of France. Yes, it's the French. Fight the French. We don't like the French people <laughs> in this in this world anyway. But yeah, we'll have the Congo on the way soon. Uh, torpedo bomber. Let's halt construction on that again. 2,500 ton displacement destroyers. I think like 3,000 tons is the max. I don't remember. Um, Uh, send a note. Reduce. Oh, they ignore our note. <laughs> That's not great. That's really not great. Um. Yes, let's get the extra weight savings. Uh, better flying boat. Currently 1936 at the moment. Tensions with fans are getting up there, up there though. Make him a national hero. Well, there you go. The Italians also uh, are uh, a bit annoyed at us. Can we save money anywhere? Um, enhanced training. Maintenance, construction, naval aircraft, research, spending. Let's... Yeah, well, they're good. Uh, no, no training. Uh, research. Let's... Can we reduce the budget more? Yeah, we can. We can reduce the naval budget even more. Um, some ways the key to victory... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 12 submarines building. Looks like an improvement. That did increase our budget by quite a bit. We can build... What does he want? He wants SS, so he just wants normal submarines. Okay, he wants 12 of them to be built. That's going to cost us a pretty penny, but we're going to have to get them underway. I'll cancel them midway once we do, but maybe we do want those submarines. I am going to actually... What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap... Uh, no, 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 no. Class. I'm going to scrap... Like, all, yeah, I'm going to scrap all these submarines before, like, the, yeah, here. Scrap those submarines. I do, I think I want the Dreadnought more than I want these two, so I'm going to halt on that. Uh, British CL. New Italian fighters been entered into the service. Issue an ultimatum to Italy. Okay, we're at war with Italy now. We can resume construction on that. We can mobilize all of our air bases. Oh, <laughs> that's a budget. That's a costly budget. Um, okay, so type. Yeah, so where's the Italian Navy? Well, the Italians do have a Navy in Southeast Asia, obviously. Um, though... They're currently in the Mediterranean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send the Kido Brutai as well as uh, the Congo. Yeah, the Congo, uh, the Yukumo and the Kusaga as well as, where are they? The new destroyers, the Satsuki destroyers. So this is our most modern navy. We're going to send that to Southeast Asia. And I'm going to initiate an immediate invasion of Tonkin. We're going to have to halt construction on these guys to be able to afford this war. Um, I've never budget ballooned, but the maintenance cost for actually maintaining a budget like this is significant. Um, yeah, we're going to need to put stuff on trade protection. So I'm going to get all of these older destroyers into a trade protection uh, ring. Yeah, trade protection. We should be able to beat the Italians pretty handily. Our budget's only double theirs. We have double their uh, battle dreadnoughts. We have uh, double their carriers. We have less uh, heavy cruisers. We have more light cruisers. We have double their destroyers. We have the same, more, than, more submarines than them. 
and but they have a lot more naval aircraft uh, though i think a lot of that is going to be situated in italy yeah 740 of their aircraft are situated in the mediterranean they only have 100 aircraft in southeast asia convoy attack uh they declined the battle that's good to know we've torpedoed an italian sub and trade disruptions are causing hardship and food issues in Italy, apparently. What I am going to do is that we can do with this is I'm going to send you to Northern Europe. I'm going to put you onto raiding. Because we, don't, we, we, have, a, we have enough dreadnoughts that we can make use of them as we need to. So we're going to send you guys to, to Europe. Um, we are trying to get the invasion off. Now, where's the Italian Navy at the moment? Italian Navy, where are you? One cruiser here. Okay, they're currently in West Africa. They must be, up, the British must be upset with them. So they're going to take a, a bit to get around. So currently in Southeast Asia, yeah, we should be able to, to pretty much dominate them, I'm hoping. Um, coastal raids. Attack enemy ships in general. Okay, we have... Okay, first time we're going to be using aircraft carriers. We have the Congo also in active service. This big boy over here with his uh, 12 14-inch guns. Our objective is to destroy the bombardment target stated here. Um, we've got low clouds. Strong gale of wind, though. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is handle cap and recon. Uh, we are going to distance bring this all down now we know they have an air base so what i am going to do is i'm going to put uh a heavy carrier air protection group on um and then also i'm going to get stuff ready weather does not permit aircraft launches really we should be able to um i'm going to ready torpedo bombers Torpedo bomber, die bomber. I'm going to. Uh, how do I ready these? I guess I can't yet. All right. Well, we're gonna have the Soryu and the uh, the Hoshu kind of move in this direction. They can keep their speed as as is. The battle cruiser Congo, which is this lovely ship, you're gonna increase your speed to 29 knots. You should be able to basically be anything you see. And then we also have the Kasuga, which is our newest, um, and the Yukumo, which are our newest vessels. So these have 10-inch guns, and they're very, very fast. Though we are limited to 16 knots by the weather. That strong gale is really causing us an issue. Um, so we're going to keep our advance as is. Yeah, we can't launch aircraft at the moment with these two and also we don't want to get them in a line like this what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a line abreast can we do line abreast please i guess not um okay well we're going to send the congo and the kasugas to do this we shouldn't need the carriers though it is unfortunate the current sea state is limiting air operations As that's kind of our primary fleet purpose. Drizzle. Let's move our carriers over. Let's get them 30 knots. There we are limited. Unknown ship spotted. Let's bring it down to slow. Okay, Congo. Let's do a turn in. Kasuga, turn away. I want a detection on that ship as soon as we can, please. It's not moving very fast. Turning in, yeah, it's a trawler. Should be able to just uh, eat it up with the Congo. Yeah, there we go. That ship should be sank. Okay, we still need to make our way up the coast here. Uh, let's get our carriers also up the coast. Okay, we're nighttime operations now. Ooh, what are you? That's a Corvette. Nothing too important. Yeah, we're getting towards night time. Move you up. So that airbase should be situated here. Yeah, there's 
really annoying that we can't use our uh, our aircraft carriers properly. Can we still not do anything? No, we can't. Not uh, permitted weather. And it's nighttime as well. You can't do nighttime operations with aircraft carriers. All right, the Congo is moving in. This might just be a smash and grab because we haven't seen anything. Weather damage. That's uh, that's not good. Where are you? Where is the Akubo? You're fine. You'll be fine. There we go. Start hitting it. Start cruising. Kasuga come across as well. You can barely bloody see the thing. Why are you guys going backwards? Come up. We need to hit this bloody thing. It's night time, which is causing an absolute annoyance with this. I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you down to like five knots. I'm also taking weather damage. This, uh, oh, we're in a hurricane? <laughs> okay, that's, that explains a lot. Um, we decided to go into war with a hurricane. Okay, that's great. Well, we destroyed the target. Let's get the hell out of her. Um, let's get southbound. All ships max speed. Let's get out of here. We saw no enemy resistance except for like a Corvette. Um, but yeah, let's. We also taking yeah taking weather damage. We accomplished the objective. Now let's get out of here. It's overcast. Taking weather damage as well. This is not a hurricane anymore. Bloody hell. I didn't expect that to be a, a hurricane. A violent, st you know, in storms and hurricanes. Like, are you kidding me? But it's nearly daylight. Well, it is daylight now. And uh, there we go. We can accomplish our objective. Unfortunately, we didn't get to, uh, we didn't get to use our vessels. Advanced directive on ships now. Uh, we also suck a merchant ship with our battle cruiser. Um, speaking of Japan, there's our battle cruisers. They're currently on the way, I would imagine. We need to halt construction of all of these guys. Uh, halt. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to scrap them. Yeah, scrap those submarines. Um, we're going to get into a deficit here, really. Air groups. Um, we can put these into reserve. Yeah, let's put those into reserve actions. Uh, let's help reduce it somewhat. Battleship engagement. Attack enemy ships. Okay, what's the weather like? Overcast. We can launch aircraft. Okay, the Hoshu's with this one. Uh, we've got actually very limited uh, situations in terms of what we have available to us. We've got the Yukuma and the Kusaga. We're going to turn your all off scout. I'm going to do core line ahead, please. Uh, squadron max. Battle cruiser Congo. Uh, we're going to get you to do squadron max. We're going to get over to the target as quick as we can. Um, and actually, we're the cruising speed for now because we, we need to wait. Uh, we have the Hoshu, the flagship of the uh, Navy. Uh, well, not the flagship, but the uh, the biggest aircraft carrier and the first aircraft carrier. Uh, so we're going to put on cap and recon. Let's bring the distance back. Let's exchange up here. Let's bring the right hand side down. Actually, let's bring the right hand side this way. Left side can come up here, and let's do a heavy presence. We're going to ready for a strike. So, we have 16 torpedo bombers, 16 dive bombers, um, and then 17 uh, aircraft on escort. Deck load. Ah, we can only have that, right? Um, can I split you? 
We can have at most 34 aircraft take off if I'm if I'm catching this correct. We can send the torpedo bombers first and then we can send the dive bombers out. What do we want to send first? We want to send dive bombers or send torpedo bombers? We'll send I would love if we could get these guys up, but I think they're gonna have to do the carry air protection. So we're just gonna have these guys on escort. We'll do the torpedo bombers first. We'll ready strike. Um, and then when they're ready, we'll go uh, with it. Okay. Let's get the carrier moving that way. Let's get the Congo, which will support that. And then let's get the cruisers also on the way. Uh, launch float planes. Yes. Let's catapult launch those float planes. There we go. And the Hoshu should start launching. I would imagine. Lump to 28 knots because of the weather. We are ready on the strike capability. Uh, yeah, we are ready. Fighters are ready for strike as soon as needed. Obviously, we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait. Um, we also have those dive bombers currently waiting out. Can we ready them for strike? Ready that for strike as well. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we're sending a torpedo bomber out. I'm not sure why. Um, and those guys are ready. Do we send like torpedo bombers out for scouting? No, those are the fighters sending out for carrier air patrol or carrier protection. Um, yeah, they're, they're protecting the carrier and they're protecting the battle cruisers at the moment. Which is good to see. Not much on recon. Uh, okay. Can we get a situation on the searching? Let's bring distance straight down. Let's do this. Um, and then... Battle cruiser. Battle cruiser. I'm also actually going to bring down the this to a medium uh, protection. <sighs> ready, ready, ready. So, die bombers, torpedo bombers, and fight. And we have a small fighter escort ready to go. Only four fighters, though. Um, not a very large escort. Enemy aircraft are approaching. We got hit by a torpedo, goddammit. Um, six torpedo bombers. Shit. Avoiding torpedoes. Turn. Where the hell are those fighters? Can we get uh, fighters in the air? Are they on deck? Yeah, they're re they blew caught us when we were refooling. Um, uh... Uh, what can I do here? Division target. Oh, I can do that, can I? Okay, uh, Yukimo, request. Kasuga, request this immediately. Okay, normal speed. I want those aircraft taken off as soon as possible. Come on, Hoshu, get those aircraft in the in the sky. That Yukimo, the Yukimo is not doing great, is it? That's it's got a lot of flotation problems. And now we're being dive bombed as well. All right, cruising speed. Where the hell are those fighters? Get them in the air. What is going on? Fighters ready. Mission non. Get them in the air now. Heavy distance. I want those aircraft up. Bring you down to four knots. Well, that just disrupts our fleet. There go the fighters. Okay, fighters are coming in. Two aircraft damaged. Come on, fighters. I'm believing you. I believe in you. Get a bloody grip. Yeah. Carry air protection. No. Just get them over here. Yeah. 
Those are dive bombers. Where are these aircraft? Like, what are fighters doing? You're on escort duty. I get you're on escort duty. I understand that. I understand the escort. But I also... Firing AA guns. Bomb hit. The Yukumo. Will we hit? Did the Hoshu get hit? The Hoshu got hit, and I don't even know where from. Okay, down. Speed down. You can't get more than, like, two aircraft into the air. I guess the flight deck's down on fire, so they can't really land, and they're having issues now. The structure is going to blow. That Hoshu is going to die. Oh, that's bad. We just lost the Hoshu. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Because we're just going to get demolished. Okay, this was a very good lesson. And I need to learn how to use Cap Bella. Because this shouldn't have happened. We had plenty of aircraft. 